Check out the power of the wind at the Washington Monument. You can see the flags kind of going crazy overnight. News 4's Joseph Almo takes a look at some of the damage throughout our area. Across the DMV today, there are signs everywhere of this weekend's brutal winds. Some of those signs more fun than others. I love Washington, D.C. Even in this weather? Uh, the weather is different for me because in Miami is very hot. But the Washington Monument and the old post office tower closing on Sunday because of the high winds. The tidal basin looking like water you don't want to be sailing on. And take a look. This Southwest flight putting up quite the fight as it lands at DCA. Uh, you can see this large tree came down, pulled some wires down. And on neighborhood streets from Fairfax County to Prince George's. Uh, it was shocking. Trees came toppling down in Chevy Chase. A tree took out part of this roof. The fire officials say luckily nobody inside was hurt. We're okay and we're just getting through it. And in Bladensburg, Jose Rodas is just happy this tree didn't fall the other way. Thankfully, you know, it went on the, on the road. Uh, of course, it damaged the cables and, you know, the neighborhood lost power, but uh, luckily nobody got hurt. And hey, several hours after this tree fell down, take a look. The power lines are still dangling over the street. A very important reminder. You ever see something like this, you've got to treat it as if those lines are active. I'm Joseph Olmo, News 4.